Hey everybody, welcome to day eight of the 100 Days of Narration Challenge. I'm Edwin Tiang. Did I forget to introduce myself at the start of every one of these? Oh, what the hell. I'm Edwin Tiang and I'll be your host reader for today. So today, um, after the excitement that was yesterday's book, book four, book seven, I've decided to read uh, a book called Jennifer Government by Max Barry, who is an Australian. Now, oh god damn it, there's a, fly, there's a plane flying overhead. Well, whatever, I'm just going to continue saying, talking about this book. So anyway, Jennifer Government, what can I say about this book? Well, imagine that in the future, the world is run by a series of huge, megacore, multinational corporations ruling the Earth in an iron grip that's actually... The present, the present is, is exactly like that. Oh. Well, imagine an even worse future where, um, you will beg, you will, you will plead, you will want to get into these mega corporations. And, 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 and when you do, when you finally do, you will surrender your name to them. You will no longer be, I don't know, whatever your name is, uh, John Smith or whatever. You will no longer be John Smith. You will be John Walmart. And you will no longer be George Stobart. You will be George Woolworths. George Stobart? Oh, you can tell what's on my mind. And you, you will be Michelangelo Michelangelo Dominoes. Michelangelo Dominoes. That's that's what you'll be. That's what you'd be. Anyway, the main character of the book is, well, there's actually several main characters in the book, but um, for the purpose of the fact that the title is about her, the title is Jennifer Government. Government. Jennifer Government. Because, well, I think you can guess she works for the government, and her first name was Jennifer before she lost her last name. Um, it's kind of a funny action paced novel it's it, it's like a it, it's like a oh god please don't i i can't believe i'm making this comparison it's like a michael bay film if only michael bay films weren't terrible and were actually funny as a, as opposed to just being horrible so it, it's like that um in novel form pretty much and uh yeah it's it, it's quite an interesting read i i have to admit i've forgotten most of what happens in this novel because it's just been so long since i've read it i didn't read this in high school though i read this in like um college but i've forgotten everything because i'm getting old and that's what happens when you get old you just forget things so let's have a look at where we shall start at this right now we are on page 200 and 57. All right. So let's see. Oh, good. It also starts on starts on a sentence and finishes at a sentence, just like yesterday's novel. <clears throat> so let's have a look. <clears throat> you and the whole general public, we've got one hell of a PR job. I've got half of my staff down there to gorge themselves on Happy Meals. Okay, Bai looked around. Now that Lucia mentioned it, there was a certain uniformity about all the customers. Most had cell phones pressed to their ears. A few had notebook computers. Do you know who attacked the store? As of this morning, yes. Security cameras saw them come out of the store and exit onto the street. We got cooperation from a couple of stores along Burke Street, ran their security tapes, and saw which parking lot they went to. One of them paid with a Visa card. Since Visa's and U.S. Alliance, voila, one billing address for a Mr. Hack Nike. Bai blinked. He wondered if it was a coincidence that the attacker worked for Nike, like John. There was probably more going on here than Bai was aware of. Have you reported this to the government? Lucia smiled. We don't work that way, Bai. Too public. We'll talk to this Hack Nike instead. By talk, you mean... She leaned forward. I mean, we'll mount a very persuasive case as to why he should never try anything like that again. I see, Bai said. I'd like to talk to him first, if you don't mind. John Nike wants to know what these people are about. Yes, 
John, Lucia said, her eyes shone. I must say it's very flattering that he's taken a personal interest. How do you know him? It's complicated. I hope you'll tell him how grateful I am for his assistance. If he's ever in town, I'd love to take him to dinner. I will tell him, I promised. So can I let me write down the details for you? Okay, so that was the first pass. Yeah, so um, corporations like Nike still exist. And uh, yeah, as soon as you buy into Nike or Visa, as the case may be here, um, Actually, no, it's not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the case here. The case here is Nike, uh, but there is Visa as well. But in, in this particular case, it's Nike. John Nike and, 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 uh, John Nike and Hack Nike. I'm not sure if the first name is also a reflection of what they do. Hack Nike. I'm guessing, what, he might be a hacker or something? I don't, I don't know. It's been a while since I've read this book. But it, as I said before, it's quite interesting. So, um... Let's try that one again. Second pass. You and the whole general public, we've got a hell of a PR job. I've got half my staff down here to gorge themselves on Happy Meals. But I looked around. Now that Lucia mentioned it, there was a certain uniformity about all the customers. Most had cell phones pressed to their ears. A few had notebook computers. Do you know who attacked the store? As of this morning, yes. Security cameras saw them come out of the store and exit onto the street. We got, we got cooperation from a couple of stores along Burke Street, ran their security tapes, and saw which parking lot they went into. One of them paid with a Visa card. Since Visa's in the U.S. alliance, voila! One billing address for a Mr. B for a Mr. Hack Nike. I blinked. He wondered if it was a coincidence that the attacker worked for Nike like John. There was probably more going on here than Bai was aware of. Have you reported this to the government? Have you reported this to the government? Lucia smiled. We don't work that way, Bai. Too public. We'll talk to this hack Nike instead. And by talk, you mean... She leaned forward. I mean, we'll mount a very persuasive case as to why he should never try anything like that again. I see. I said. I'd like to talk to him first, if you don't mind. John Nike wants to know what these people are. John Nike wants to know what these people are about. Yes, John, Lucia said, her eyes shone. I must say it's very flattering that he's taken a personal interest. How do you know about him? How do you know him? It's complicated. I hope you'll tell him how grateful I am for his assistance. How grateful I am for his assistance. If he's ever in town, I'd love to take him for dinner. I will tell him, I promised. So can I? Let me write down the details for you. Oh, God. Ugh. <clears throat> I think that went better, but, um... God, the S sounds. S is my weakness today. S and the TH and S sounds. Just... And I'm making weird vowel sounds as well. Just certain vowels just suddenly sound like an A sounds like an O, an E sounds like an I. What's going on here, Edwin? What's what's happening with you and your talking out of your ass? Why why are you talking out of your ass? That's uh that's really unattractive. Very unattractive. Not very attractive at all. Okay. Second pass down. Third pass. You and the whole general public, we've got a hell of a PR job. I've got half my staff down here to gorge themselves on Happy Meals. Bai looked around. Now that Lucia mentioned it, there was a certain uniformity about all the customers. Most had cell phones pressed to their ears. A few had notebook computers. Do you know who attacked the store? As of this morning, yes. Security cameras saw them come, up. Security cameras saw them come out of the store and exit onto the street. And exit onto the street. Security cameras saw them come out of the store. Oh, dear Lord. Come out of the store. Out of the store and exit onto the street. Security cameras saw them come out of the store and exit onto the street. We got cooperation from a couple of stores along Burke Street, ran their security tapes, and saw which parking lot they went into. One of them paid with a Visa card. Since Visa's in the U.S. alliance, voila! One billing address for a Mr. Hack Nike. 
by Blint. He wondered, if it was, he wondered if it was a coincidence that the attacker worked for Nike, like John. There was probably more going on here than Bai was aware of, and I screwed up the start of that sentence. But Bai blinked. He wondered if it was a coincidence that the attacker... That the attacker... God, every time there's a the... God, oh, Christ. Bai blinked. He wondered if it was a coincidence that the attacker worked for Nike, like John. There was probably more going on here than Bai was aware of. Have you reported this to the government? Lucia smiled. We don't work that way, Bai. Too public. We'll talk to this hack Nike instead. By talk, you mean... She leaned forward. I mean, we'll mount a very persuasive case as to why he should never try anything like that again. I... see. I said, I'd like to talk to him first, if you don't mind. John Nike wants to know what these people are about. Yes, John, Lucia said, her eyes shone. I must say, it's very flattering that he's taken a personal interest. How do you know him? It's, uh, complicated. I hope you'll tell him how grateful I am for his assistance. If he's ever in town, I'd love to take him to dinner. I will tell him, I promised. So can I... Uh, let me write down the details for you. Okay, so... That was the third pass. It got better as it went along. I should probably try slowing down my reading. That's probably... My problem just slowing it... But at the same time, I fear, like, uh, it'll be too slow, and then people will start to lose interest, because then I sound like this, and an incredibly depressed and depressing person with no life in his voice. But yeah, okay. So, that was Jennifer Government by Max Berry, an Australian author. Um, yeah, day eight down. Tomorrow, day nine.